but I might give him another chance. And we all know what I think of Zack Sabre Jr. Kashida's come to England with one thing on his mind, hasn't he, Andy? And that is to take back to Japan. I've been a second ever New Japan Pro Wrestling uh, wrestler. And the fourth international wrestler to have held that British Heavyweight Championship. It's not without of the realms of possibility. We have seen upset after upset. Well, here we go. As there's still a mixed reaction for Zack Sabre Jr. This is a man who has aligned himself with Suzuki Gun. This is a man who has somehow turned his back on the wrestling public. He's turned his back on the principles he stood by. He wants to prove he is the best wrestler in the world. He wants to prove he's a technical wizard. And if he's going to be the best wrestler in the world, he's going to have to get through another one of the best wrestlers in the world. And here he comes. Here he comes. Mr. Zaki Freebelt himself. The PWG. World Heavyweight Champion, the Evolve World Heavyweight Championship, and most importantly, the undisputed British Heavyweight Champion. And you notice Zack Sabre Jr. wearing the black trunks, representing Suzuki Gun. This is a man who earned his break in New Japan Pro Wrestling and threw it back in the face of New Japan Pro Wrestling management by aligning with those heathens in Suzuki Gun. And Zack Sabre Jr. is a man who with the help of Minoru Suzuki was able to overcome Katsuyori Shibata and become the champion for a second time. This man... Zack Sabre Jr. hasn't taken his eyes off him for a second. Kushida. This is a different man, isn't it, Andy? This is a different man from the last Zack Sabre Jr. I saw. This man is joined Suzuki Gun. He's, he's, he's a tiny guy now, eh? Exactly. Well, what I will say is Zack Sabre Jr. has heard the reaction from this crowd. Zack Sabre Jr. has heard the mixed reactions from this crowd. And it all started back in August when Zack Sabre Jr. went one-on-one -on -one with Mr. Athletic Jeff Cobb. And it was, uh, um, should we say, the systematic breakdown of Jeff Cobb with no regard for his opponent whatsoever that almost turned this crowd against Zack Sabre Jr. Which is probably the first time I've ever noticed how much I actually like spending time around Zack Sabre Jr. You're oh, not is supposed it? to. That's a, you're not supposed to have any convenience. Can I make my point? Okay. Doesn't matter now. I can't wait to see Zack Sabre Jr. defeat Kushida, the clear fan favourite. And see this different side to Zack, live and in person. High up, Zack Sabre Jr. goes behind. I'm very interested here to see uh, a look at that from Sabre. Rolls into his man. Nicely done. Lateral press. Kashida not even allowing the shoulders to go down for a one count. Single leg takedown from Kashida. Both men face off. And Zack creating distance wisely. To me, 
interesting to see who comes out on top of this one. Last time Kushida was in your Paul Bethel Grimm, we saw him in an all-time class against Carlo Riley. If you haven't seen that contest, make sure you get yourself to um, rpwondemand.com and check that one out. Zach now pulling back on the hair of Kushida, ties up the legs, That's rolls him around. That's something you've never seen from Zach. Even a year Absolutely. ago. Zach Sabre Jr. has now got a new form of leverage with his new attitude. The hair, the trunks, anything it takes to get a win as Kushida rolls into his man. You're not going to see that type of wrestling from Kushida. One of the best and most technically gifted wrestlers in the world. And he's looking for an armbar, but Zack Sabre Jr. knows a thing or two about armbars. And look at the way Sabre locking those hands together, not allowing Kushida to get an advantage. And he slips out nicely, went for the circle. Kushida floats over quickly, and both men face off. And Andy Boy Simmons, we're witnessing a technical classic already. And we've only been going for the last three minutes, Andy. Zach's just getting started, I can... Both men circle each other again. It was some of the things that Marty Scott was doing to Zack Sabre Jr. last time we were in New York at High Stakes and the crowd were, were cheering Marty. And it was just a few weeks later Zack Sabre Jr. was in Japan and, and he was perhaps in a vulnerable situation and Suzuki, one of the, the, the masters of mind games and he's great at getting followers, perhaps they've got in Zack Sabre Jr.'s ear they at an appropriate time. They were there for Zack and Zack was probably in a vulnerable position. He was in, he had just joined the top wrestling roast in Japan. He and look at that, Kashida with a sign of intent there, signalling to his waist. He wants that undisputed British heavyweight championship. Don't get too full of yourself yet, Kashida. Because as far as I'm concerned, if you're scoring this on points, which you should be, Zack Sabre Jr. is already miles ahead. Strengthening Kashida there. Stronger than he looks, Zach, isn't he? Because Kashida, predominantly a junior heavyweight in New Japan Pro Wrestling, Zach Sabre Jr. has walked into their heavyweight division. Because he went to all out war with Hiroki Goto this past weekend. Oh. Just landed this morning. Kashida's had a couple of days in the UK to adjust to time scales. Of course, Zach Sabre Jr. now resides in Orlando, uh, in uh, New York. And who? And who put those fights? Who do you want to win this match? Do you want to send the Revolution Pro Wrestling Championship back to Japan? Zack Sabre Jr. is a world traveller and he likes to get into countries and, and just get straight in the ring. We've seen him do it time and time again. Waste his time hanging around with you, probably. We used to be friends, so. Kashida once again looking for the armbar. Zack Sabre Jr. once again gets himself to that bottom rope, and why is he so? They're just getting warmed up. Cravat now applied by Sabre Jr. Looking to apply pressure onto the neck and head area of Kashida. We've said it time and time before. Zack Sabre Jr., a human torture device, and he's looking to start that torture process right now. And look at the leg muscles of Zack Sabre Jr. He's putting all the pressure on the head and neck of Kashida. Changing the angles, changing the directions, always keeping your opponent guessing. If anyone can get out of this situation right now, if anyone can get out, It's Kashida who goes into that soul. Look at that. So quickly. Zach baited him in with that, Andy. He was well aware of the situation. He didn't allow Kashida a chance to breathe. He didn't allow Kashida a chance to gain any momentum whatsoever. It's almost like Zack Sabre Jr. knew that a counter was coming and was so quick to reverse as a result. And again, Zack Sabre Jr. so quick to reverse, transitions into an armbar. And unfortunately for Sabre, on that occasion, Kishida reaches the bottom rope. And you see Zack Sabre holding on to that armbar a little bit too long there. And he knew exactly what he was doing.
Nishida and Sabre circling each other once again. Once again, Kashida goes for a single leg. Trips Sabre, goes back to the arm. Of course, we know Kashida likes to utilize that hoverboard lock. Conversion of Kimura. Zack Sabre Jr., of course, he still likes to utilize that arm bar. Well, we've seen him utilize so many different versions of the arm bar, it's impossible to see him coming. He knows 50,000 different variations of moves and, and counter holds. At least. Nice snap there. Kushida quick to reverse. Straight to the arm, shaking the head. And we'll wonder what Kushida's telling Zack Sabre Jr. right there. Sabre, look at the way the forearm just applied across the nose and mouth of Kushida. Most nastily in tra transition. But once again, Sabre so quick. Once again, Kushida so quick. Roll through. Sabre kicks away Kashida. Kashida kicks away Sabre and both men face off. But Zack Sabre Jr. looking almost frustrated. And I think this is the first time in this contest Zack Sabre Jr. took his eyes off Kashida as he looks squarely down onto the canvas in frustration. Zack knows there's a lot riding in this one, Andy. <laughs> He's standing with Suzuki Gun could be in uh, jeopardy if he to lose to Kashida. Suzuki Gun sick. Well, we know that Zack Sabre Jr. He's got his eyes set on the heavyweight division of New Japan Pro Wrestling. He wants to pick up a victory here against Kushida. And he doesn't really want to risk losing this contest and being dropped down to the junior heavyweight division. Zack Sabre Jr. Uh, has got his eyes set on the G1. Well, I could see him taking that. I could see him taking all the other participants in the G1 tournament. Well, it's certainly a completely different prospect to anyone who's been in that... Who's in that tournament? Who was in the tournament last year, I should say? Look at, and look at the way! Look at the way he's applying that headlock! And look at that cocky single arm bicep pose there from Zack Saber Jr. And look at the way he's leaning into his man, grinding him down. This is nasty! It's nasty! This is dirty wrestling from Zack Saber Jr. You heard the term "dirty boxing" before. This is dirty wrestling from Zack Saber Jr. As he's grinding away at the head of Kushida here. I've heard the term "dirty wrestling." Big shoulder tackle from Zack Sabre Jr. Kushida looking to up the pace. Oh! He went for the hip toss. Zack Sabre Jr. slipped away and Kushida hit him with a big drop kick. Zack favoring that mouth. On that the took spot. him by surprise. It really did. Kushida sends him off the ropes again. Oh! And this time he sits out with a hip toss and he's got the armbar applied. Zack Sabre Jr. quickly moves into his man. Can only get a one count. Sabre first to his feet. Kushida. Oh, look at that. That is beautifully done from Kushida. And Zack Sabre straight up bottom rope. He's very He's smooth. got the bottom rope. Very smooth, but not as quite as smooth as Zack Sabre Jr. Kushida now stalking Sabre. Once again, goes for that arm of Zack Sabre Jr. He stomps down once again on the arm. And this contest has predominantly been fought on the ground, and I would say that the, the fight on the ground has favoured Zack Sabre Jr. However, Kushida is the aggressor at the moment. I would have thought Kushida would have tried to up the pace, up the speed of his contest. You know, Kushida likes to utilise those kicks. And so does Zack. And look at where he's targeting with those kicks. Oh, Sabre breaks away the leg of Kushida, looking to pick up the pace with desperation. Kushida was looking for that buzzsaw kick, and Zack Sabre Jr. kicked him with a buzzsaw kick of his own. He was well aware of what Kushida was up to. And to 
think, Andy, this isn't even tonight's main event. We've still got one to go, Andy, and that's going to be a different pace for this one entirely. Something for everyone here at Revolution Pro Wrestling. We call it a buffet of wrestling styles. It doesn't matter what style of wrestling you love, we will have something for you. This is a true art form, the art of a sport, a professional wrestling. And we're witnessing a technical masterclass right here between Kushida and Zack Sabre Jr. Epic Encounter 2017 live on rpwondemand.com with the undisputed British Heavyweight Championship on the line. There's a chop, but not much power behind it from Kashida. Second, a third chop, and Zack Sabre Jr. walks into his man with a single leg. And look at the angle, the way Sabre's contorting the body of Kashida. Now almost an STF, and look at the way he locks away the arm as well. John Cena, eat your heart out. Zack Sabre Jr. has just modified the STF view into positions that I didn't even know was possible. This man is a human torture device. Zack Sabre Jr. really has things under control right now. And he's working the contest at his pace. And this, if you were to call this contest at the start, this is exactly how Zack Sabre Jr. would want this contest to go. A slow, deliberate pace. Not allowing Kashida to get a rhythm going. And look at the way Zack Sabre Jr. chest bumping Kashida, almost bullying him. And now he's telling him to give him his best shot. And look at that European uppercut from Sabre, but Kashida still in this contest. Nice snapmare takedown, big drop kick to the side of Kashida's head. Zack Sabre Jr. working this contest at his pace now. It's a workmanlike performance from Sabre. This is what Zack Sabre Jr. likes to do, doesn't he? He likes to methodically break down his opponents. There's not many pinfall attempts in this match. Now he takes the arm again. Zach knows everything that Kashida brings to the table. Look at the way, oh, look at the way he's bending that hand back, and I'm wincing even watching this. And Zach now snaps it back further. The bone was not meant to bend in that way. And look at the way he's twisting and turning, and now turning in the other direction. And Sabre stomps down on the hand to Kashida, and all the weight went down onto that injured wrist of Kashida. Kashida now really, really favouring that arm. Zack Sabre Jr. in predator mode now. Throwing his wrist tape in the face of Kashida. And almost beckoning him to come back in the ring. And that's got to be doing you all kinds, your, your mental game, all kinds of uh, problems here. Kashida must be thinking, What's it going to take to beat this man? Yet he's got Sabre beckoning him to come into the centre of the ring. And now Sabre's telling him to give me your best shot. Sabre may live to regret that. I was just about to make that same point, and he may well live to regret that. But Kashida he's may confident. Well. He's so confident and he's strong. Oh my! By oh no! Bicycle kick caught by Sabre into the ankle lock. And Kashida in the centre of the ring. Nowhere to go. Zack Sabre grinding away at the ankle. Now goes on to the second leg. Got the knee bar applied. Zack Sabre Jr.'s systematic breakdown of Kashida continues. So I'm saying Zack Sabre Jr. so confident as Kashida tries to break free. And Zack Sabre Jr. pulls down again on that knee bar. And Kashida. Kashida reverses it. And now the leverage in Sabre's favour. And now the leverage in Kashida's favour. They're going back and forth like a seesaw here. And now both men trying to break each other away with a series of kicks. And who's going to come out on top? I don't think any man can come out on top in a situation like that. And the point I was going to make 
was Zach Sabre Jr. was inviting Kushida into the centre of the ring, so confident in his striking ability. He was inviting him into the centre of the ring to come strike with him, come trade with him. And Sabre sends Kushida to the outside, but Kushida, the agility, lands on his feet. And now can Kushida pick up the pace? Now can Kushida change the levels? He gets to the second rope, he gets to the top, but Sabre cuts him off. Now Sabre follows him once again. And now he's got the armor. He's got the arm of Kashida. Kashida trying to fight out, punching the kidneys of Zack Sabre Jr. And that's gonna do the job. And now Kashida looking for that hover hoverboard lock on the ropes. Look, he's got him in position. But he can't. He can't. Oh! Drives him down! Arm first! And that Andy could be the opening that Kashida's been looking for! I think that's the uh, that is a complete change of pace from what we've been seeing for the last 15 minutes, Andy. That would break a normal man's arm in half. If that was Curtis Chapman, for example, his arm would be shattered. Well, Zack Sabre Jr.'s arm could well be shattered as well. Hanging there and Kashida! Pinpoint strikes that arm. And Kashida knows he's done the damage. He's got it like a hawk right now. And look at the way Zack Sabre Jr.'s arm is draped. He's just trying to get some feeling back in that arm. Watch out, Zack! Kishida drop kicks straight into that arm of Zack Sabre Jr. And Kishida right now might be out sabering Sabre. Oh, but Sabre meets him with a European uppercut. You speak too soon, Andy, every time. Zack Sabre has his well Oh, Kushida control. catches him! Oh, but applied! Oh, but applied from Kushida! Oh, but Sabre just about gets Yay. himself to the ropes. And that is so tight. So, so tight. Another if Zack Sabre Jr. was one shoe size smaller, this one would have been over. And another three or four seconds, you might have been much And you notice over. how Kashida again went for that arm bar, but again, Zack Sabre Jr. straight to the bottom rope that time. No hesitation whatsoever. And look at the way Kashida, uh, Sabre now, trying to push Kashida away, trying to find some separation. Oh, but Sabre! Tight! A one-handed choke! Sleep on you. You were having to call it been a taking, sleeper, He's been taking you? shades of Minoru Suzuki there on that sleeper hold. Or choke, whatever way you look at it. But Sabre still up, kicks away at Kashida, trying to get some life back into that arm. Kashida, oh Sabre Jr. He's got a guillotine deployed. Kashida trying to stay standing. He's trying to stay standing, but the blood's rushing to that head. The circulation's being cut off. Can Kashida reverse? He's got something. In store for Zach. Dragon suplex, perhaps. Sabre breaks away the arm. Dragon suplex of his own. And Zack Sabre Jr. may have just wrestled himself back into this contest. Zack struggling with that arm, isn't he, Andy? He's going for the... He went for a penalty kick. Kashida ducked out. He saw it coming through the legs from Sabre. Through the legs from Kashida. Kashida's done his homework for the board lock. He hasn't got it properly though. Kashida, he went for it again. Sabre catches him. And now sits him up. We know what's coming now. Penalty kick. Takes a life out of Kashida. They have knocked a tooth out. And there's a second from Sabre. Zack Sabre Jr. with two penalty kicks with no reply. He should have gone for the cover though, Andy. This is a championship match. The stakes are high. Can Zack Sabre Jr. capitalise in this opening that he's crafted himself here? Sabre back. 
back to his feet. Look at the way Sabre toy him and Kushida now. And this isn't Zack Sabre Jr. that I know. This is Zack Sabre Jr. that I'm starting to love. You know the Zack Sabre Jr. from his early 20s, Andy. This is a man. Well, this is a man who's got himself into a fight because Kushida's back to his feet. And I think Sabre wanted him there. Sabre is feeding off the power of the strikes from Kushida. He's enjoying it. He likes it. But now, Kushida, oh, Sabre. Oh, look at this. He's looking at the triangle. And he's got the armbar applied at the same time. Knots the arm back. Digs the elbow into the spine to get the other arm free. And Zack Sabre Jr. Zack Sabre Jr. has got Kushida where he wants him. The centre of the ring with nowhere to go. And now can Kushida fight his way to the ropes. He looks to get his way to the ropes. But Zack Sabre Jr. catches his leg. Zack Sabre Jr. The human torture device. As Kushida tied up in knots, but Kushida makes it to the ropes. The fans of Zack Sabre Jr. are dwindling and dwindling. Every single appearance we see from Zack Sabre Jr. You've done well for yourself, Zack, to keep the fans this long. And now you're losing them in your droves as Kashida is still in this contest. He's fighting, but so Zack Sabre Jr. And you can't say anything about Zack Sabre Jr.'s heart in this contest. He's staying in it, but Kashida with the discus forearm and Sabre connects with an uppercut of his own. And a second. And you sense that both men now are looking for a knockout blow. Zach looking at Kushida right now like he's easy to hear. And who's going to come out on top? Kushida kicks away the arm of Zack Sabre Jr. Let's not forget the work earlier on in this contest. Dragon suplex, beautiful bridge. Oh, two count only. And now, now can Kushida put away Sabre? Well, Kushida looking to go to the top. Oh, Zack Sabre Jr. catches him. He went for the moonsault. Sabre Jr. has caught him. And he can't apply those elbows like we've seen him do before because of his arm. The damage to his arm. He can't get any torque. But now he's hitting elbows with the other arm. He's got him in the triangle. Oh, Kushida Carwell's through to his feet. Kicks away the arm. Hold the board. Oh! And now, are we going to have a new British heavyweight champion? The hoverboard lock applied. Sabre Jr. looking for an escape. Get the ropes. He's reaching in desperation. Kushida pulls him back in. Hoverboard lock again. Oh, Sabre roll through. Oh, beautiful bridge. Beautiful bridge. Oh, so close. So, so close. And Kushida, Kushida checking with referee Chris Roberts to make sure he got the shoulder up in time. That's how close it was. What a match we're witnessing here. The British Heavyweight Championship on the line. Kushida now. Kushida in desperation crawling with a headbutt to Zack Sabre Jr. And look at the slap. They're both facing each other off. 
and Zack Sabre Jr. with that's, a fist to the chin. That's something we would have and seen. Pulling the hair. Clenching that fist. And Kushida asking for more. Kushida shouldn't be asking for more right now. Both men on the point of exhaustion. Oh! Big kick from Kushida. And Kushida once again beckoning Zack into the middle of the ring. Another big European uppercut. I've lost count of how many Zack Sabre Jr. has delivered in this contest, but now he hits that Pele kick. Sends him off the ropes, reversal from Sabre. And oh no, Zack Sabre Jr. has caught him again. He's caught him again. Bang in the middle of the second ring. time, Kushida's gone for that. And Zack Sabre Jr. has caught him again. But Kushida rolls through. And now, what a pin, that's a shade of Zack Sabre Jr. Sabre with one of his own, and he got him! I think we could say that was a confident victory, Andy. Well, Zack Sabre Jr. has just defeated Kushida. I said earlier, once we get official words, 